Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby, and today marks a hundred years since a tank was used in combat for the first time. It was the British heavy tank Mark I, which was used in the Battle of the Somme, and War Gaming are celebrating by putting in a brand new game mode called Convoy. When you first log in, you will be greeted by one of the most gorgeous garages that Wargaming have ever put in World of Tanks, with such a compelling stark contrast between what the battlefield looks like now, a hundred years after with the memorials, and when we look on the other side, a very dramatic interpretation of what World War I might have looked like. So hats off to Wargaming for this garage, and I really hope someone mods it so we can have this the whole year round. So unfortunately, while you don't have the pleasure of playing as the mark in the convoy game mode, you will be playing as the first wheeled vehicle in World of Tanks, the Lanchester Armoured Car. There are a few little easter eggs in the garage, you click on the information board, it tells you about the Battle of the Somme, and interestingly some information about the first real tankers, like Captain Harold Mortimer who was the first commander of a tank in action. His Mark I mail rolled out at 5.15am September the 15th 1916, it approached the German defensive centre between Ginchy and Delville Wood destroyed a machine gun emplacement which was blocking the attack of British light infantry, however the vehicle was hit by an enemy shell and put out of action. And one thing to keep an eye out on is there are some unique crew members, I don't think there's any other way to get the face of Otis Betridge in the game. And what is there to really know about the Lanchester armoured car? Well it's ludicrously fast, going up to 82 km an hour forwards and 40 km an hour backwards, it has 200 hit points, 8mm of all round armour, and it has a 7.7mm machine gun that fires 20 rounds a minute, 15mm is a penetration which would be more than enough to get through your opponents unless they're angling very heavily, with 30 alpha damage, great accuracy, 0.3 and 2 seconds aim time. So immediately the eagle eyed of you might be worried that what are these rounds that have 40 millimeters of penetration and 500 alpha damage? Well that's a power up as I'm going to explain in a minute. Don't worry, there's no use of premium rounds in this fun mode, and also unlike the football fun mode, there's no turbo booster that you have to pay 10,000 or 15,000 credits for to be able to be competitive. So plus one to Wargaming for literally making this a fun mode. So now we've zoned into the battle and we are in the middle of the Somme right about now, so what is our objective? I'm on the attacking team. Well, I have to try and escort my mark from the starting location all the way over towards the enemy base and we can see their flag there. Now the Mark is not the fastest of tanks, as you can see in real life it was only able to go a few kilometers an hour. So how are the enemy meant to destroy our Mark? Well as we can see here there's explosives on the map that spawn and the enemy team just drove over it and picked it up, we can see them there as they're racing their way towards us. And so we have to try and intercept the bomb and we have to try and take him out and stop him from getting towards our mark, where he's going to try and place the bomb on it to slow it down. From then afterwards, we'll have to try and repair our mark to get it rolling again. And so your number one priority is to always try and shoot opponents that, are used, that have collected the bomb to keep that bomb away from your mark. That's the most important thing to do in the game. However, there are also a few other little perks on the map that you can pick up. Here we can see this player has picked up a machine gun upgrade. This is rather deadly indeed you'll be able to absolutely obliterate your opponents. And also, I'm not sure if we can see anyone who has a high caliber upgrade, there we go. That person has got that second round of ammunition that does 500 damage and increased penetration with a single shot. Basically that means that if they shoot you, they are going to one shot you. As we're gonna see there, yeah he absolutely nailed us. But don't worry about dying. But oh there we can see the bomb. Unfortunately I wasn't able to stop the bomb reaching our mark. We can hear some sad music, very retro, very classic. So they've now taken the tracks off our mark as we should be able to see here. So we need to get the repair kit that we can see on the other side of the map, well just over here towards our mark. So there we go, that Lanchester has managed to pick it up. Will he be able to get it around? And so what you want to be doing right now is you want to be thinking about just taking out enemy tanks that are around your mark to allow the repair kit to be able to get back and there we can see tracks back up but unfortunately our mark lost 400 hit points. Can you see the mark's health bar? Well you can see it here, it's now got 1600 out of 2000. Now each bomb that hits your mark does 400 and slows it down. So the enemy have got a few options. Number one, they just wait for the time to finish and if you can't get to the enemy base in time then I believe that you lose. Um, or alternatively they can try and bomb your mark five times and that's the, the 400 hit points times by 5, 2000 hit points and your mark will go down. So now we're using that high caliber gun. There we go, we one shot that fellow. But as we can see the, the high caliber gun has quite a long reload time but it is very satisfying. When you do one shot the bomb carrier, you're not getting that bomb towards my mark buddy. And then now I'm going to try and block this dude. 
and shut him down as well. There we go, and that is the power of using that upgrade. If you do manage to get that upgrade, it is, it is just ludicrously powerful to have that one shotgun. But of course, limited to three rounds. And everyone's just crashing into each other. I'm left on one hit point, which is pretty crazy. I just bounced somebody. Will I bounce somebody again? No, not quite. But great result there. We, we secured three kills on enemy tanks, but it was more important the fact that I was shooting the bomb carrier just before he got towards our mark. So we're doing really well this game. We've already managed to get the mark pretty much near the enemy base. And we've got four minutes and 45 seconds left. And the enemies have only managed to bomb him once, which means that he can take another four bomb hits. Oh, is that guy going to be able to get there? Looks like he might be able to. Oh, hero. Mr. House Rapture just managed to ram that fellow before he got towards the mark. And then right now, if you want to try and win this game mode, my big recommendation is to just try and block people, try and track people, just try and stop people from getting that bomb anywhere near your mark. There we go. Nice ram. Did we take his wheels off? I nearly say track I nearly said tracks, but remember these are wheeled cars. Oh no, he's pushing through as well. Come on, we gotta stop him. Don't let him bomb our mark. Oh, he's so close! I don't think we're gonna be able to stop him. There we go. Three, two, one. Mark's tracks are off. Okay, it's time to repair. Immediately look on your map, try and find out where the repair is. And we can see that the repair is over there. I'm driving like a bit of a numpty now. I guess I'm not used to driving these little cars around and we need to get some tracks on there, right guys? Oh, we're going to have to try and sneak our way up here. Hopefully this guy isn't going to shoot us. Is he going to block us? Looks like he missed us. These things are very maneuverable on the battlefield. Oh, come on. We've got to get towards the mark. We can do it. A little bit of a wiggle. Hopefully we can jump over here. Yes! There we go. Okay, we've got the mark's tracks back on. Go on, Mark. You can do it. And this is a very awkward situation. Am I going to die? I'm going to have to get out of here. Hopefully we can manage to get through the trenches. Come on, Mark. You can make it towards the base. Here we go. So close, Mark. Where's the bomb at the moment? Are they going to be able to get the bomb in? No, the bomb has actually spawned in the middle of the map, which makes it very difficult for the enemy to be able to stop that. And there we can see the Mark entering the enemy cap circle. And it looks like we are going to be able to take this one down indeed. With just a few shots at the end. We even shoot our Mark a little bit. I'm sorry, Mark. <laughs> Victory for us. So to the victor, the spoils, and that is definitely the case in this fun mode. I managed to pick up 15,000 credits and 750 experience for performing a couple of objectives. Now that 750 experience will go on to train my crew. I am using my Cruiser Mark IV crew inside my Lanchester armored car. But if you don't click the accelerated crew training, then I expect that you're going to have to convert it using gold. And if you haven't done that at the end of the event, I expect it'll go on your tier one. British tank. So what kind of rewards are there for playing this game mode? Well, there are a couple of special medals to get. There is Honor Guard. You get this if you manage to help the Mark 1 successfully capture the enemy base. Alternatively, there is Base Protector if you're on the defending team, if you manage to stop the Mark 1 from reaching your base. And also the game records how many times you use a bomb against the Mark 1 if you're on the defending team, or alternatively if you repair the Mark 1's tracks using a repair kit. So to be able to make the 15,000 credits and 700 150 experience in this game, you are going to have to complete Bomberman, which has unlimited completions. You must win the battle, your team must blow off at least one track off the Mark 1, and you also have to cause damage to at least one enemy Lanchester, which means that you can't AFK. And the game will also penalize you if you destroy any allied Lanchester, so be careful with that friendly fire, guys, otherwise it's going to hurt you in your wallet. Now, while only the winners are going to be getting the 15,000 credits reward, the losers are still able to get the 750 experience because all you have to do is to plant one bomb on the enemy mark, cause damage to at least one enemy Lanchester, and do not destroy any of your own. And alternatively, if you're on the attacking team, well, it's exactly the same. There's 15,000 credits that will be going to the winner if you do repair your mark one at least one time. And if you don't manage to win, but you repair the mark anyway, then you're going to be getting 750 experience as a consolation prize. And I should also mention that if you manage to win 10 times, then you will receive a large experience personal reserve and also a large crew experience experience personal reserve, both for winning 10 times on the defending team and on the attacking team. And so all in all, I think this is certainly an enjoyable fun mode. It does feel a lot less competitive than the football game mode was, 
And so it might be fun to just blow off a little bit of steam if you manage to get one shot when you're playing in your random queue. And while I think it is disappointing that we don't get to play as the mark, I still think Wargaming have done a great way to celebrate 100 years of tanks. And so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a like. It really helps the channel out. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the fun mode. Do you think it looks really cool or do you think it looks pretty lame? And I'll be certainly giving it a few goes on the stream tonight. So why not come along on twitch.tv forward slash quickie baby. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.